my dear young scientists. Together, we will explore and discover the world of science. I'm your amazing teacher, Sir Bench. Today, we will learn about properties of materials that can help us identify whether they are useful or harmful. Are you excited? Let's go! Come and join me! Let's enter the kingdom where fun and exciting learning experiences are about to happen. Can you still recall what is matter? Let's have a recap. Matter is defined as anything that occupies space and has mass. Everything around us is matter. The soil, water, and air. They take up space and help us. As discussed in your science 3, matter comes in different phases, which can be solid, liquid, and gas. But before that class, let us classify the following materials usefully found at home and in school. Are you ready? These are the materials. Cooking oil, teacher's table, laundry soap, armchair, chalkboard. Now let us see how many correct answers we have. For number one, where can be usefully found cooking oil? If your answer is at home, correct. Number two, where can be usefully found teacher's table? If your answer is found in school, you're right. Number three, where can be usefully found laundry soap? If your answer is at home, very good. Number four, how about armchair? If we say it is found in school, you're right. For item number five, Chalkboard. If your answer is in school, you got it. Were you able to perfect our initial activity? Great job, learners! Now, let us learn more about our lesson. Matter has different properties that make it distinct from one another. Some have properties that make them good materials for producing useful products. Other types have properties that make them harmful. When is material useful? Materials are said to be useful when they serve their purpose. They may have properties such as durability, Flexibility, elasticity, hardness, and resistance to water, heat, or acid. Most of the useful materials can be reused and recycled. For example, an empty container for solid or liquid can still be used for other purposes such as a flower vase a coin bag, or a house decoration. Whether a bottle is made of plastic or glass, it has a property that makes it reusable. Other materials can be recycled by making new products from these materials. For example, candy wrappers can be turned into fancy garments and plastic bottles into Christmas lanterns. When is material harmful? Materials are considered harmful when they cause harm to your health, to the environment, 
and to other organisms when not used properly. Some useful materials may also bring hazards. For example, a broken glass jar can cause cuts or injury. Toxic substances may also be present in the things you commonly use such as paints, cleaning agents, fuels, gels, or powders. This may bring harm to your health, to the environment, and to other organisms when not used properly. That's why you should be careful when handling and using different materials. Is it clear, class? Yes! This time, let us observe how these materials in the pictures are being handled. Identify whether they are useful or harmful. Kindly write your answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1. Broken glass Number 2. An empty bottle being refilled Number 3. Candy wrapper made back Number 4. Vegetable peelings made into compost. Number 5. Use boxes as book organizers. These are the answers. For number 1, harmful. Number 2, useful. Number 3, useful. Number 4, useful. And number five, useful. Class, if you got a score of four or five, very good. If you got a score of one, two, or three, you still did a good job. You can do better next time. At this point, to further measure how much you have learned from this video lesson, let us classify the different materials found in the word pool as useful or harmful. These are the materials. All newspaper, food cartons, single-use plastic water bottles, candy wrappers, used syringe, rusted metal container, drain batteries, single-use plastic bags, Empty mayonnaise star and vegetable peelings. These are the questions. Number one Which materials are useful? When do they become useful? Number two Which materials are harmful? When do they become harmful? Let us check your work. Here are the answers. For useful materials, we have all newspaper, candy wrappers, vegetable peelings, food cartons, empty mayonnaise are. For harmful materials, we have drain batteries, used syringe, single-use plastic bags, single-use plastic water bottles and rusted metal container. For question number one, the answer is materials are useful when they serve their purpose and do not cause harm to humans, to the environment, and to other organisms. For number two, harmful materials bring hazard to humans and harm the environment and to all organisms. Keep in mind the following big ideas in our lesson for today. Matter has different properties that make it distinct from one another. Some types have properties that make them good materials for producing useful products. 
other types have properties that make them harmful. Materials are said to be useful when they serve their purpose. Some materials may also bring hazard. Continue reading your notes to better understand the lesson. You've reached the end of our lesson. You are able to identify whether a certain material is useful or harmful. Congratulations, young scientists! You did a great job! See you again on our next lesson. Goodbye!